This is the start to the back nine at 379 yards, dog leg to the left, the fairway slopes that way. Nothing to worry about off the tee, actually. No bunkers there. A hole that with a good drive, you're going to play a short iron in, too. And, uh, you know, a hole where you ought to make a birdie. I mean, you think and make a three here when you're standing on the tee. And after a brilliant three under par on the front nine, Arnold Palmer to hit first. Driving the ball beautifully today. Might be all right. Yeah. Sure, sure. It'll be and he keeps it up. That puts a lot of pressure on Gary watching this. And a little better than all right. Again, long and straight. Hey. How sweet it is. Good, but okay. Well, Gary's nicely placed in the fairway. Kind of blocked that a little bit. You see him? See how he's yep. showing you there? So when he does that, you block it up against that hill instead of riding with it with Ar like Arnold Hook did. That's why you get a big difference in the di distance here. Look at that, huh? This from 136 yards. This with an 8-iron. Get back, Gary. No, get down, Gary. Let it get down. Well, they couldn't make their mind up. It is one or the other, get up or get down. Or maybe they're talking about dancing. <laughs> Arnold, this is a pitching wedge from 102 yards. Yeah, he ought to make this dance a little. There it is, a little entrecé. Huh? Ah, yes. That's a good shot. Well played, just like I thought they both played this hole. Gary for birdie. He needs it. Has to make something happen. Par there and in danger of dropping behind again. I mean, you, you just don't realize unless you play in these how much faster 18 holes is than 72. I mean, five strokes, man. So he's got to kind of be pulling for Arnold not to make this. Nice. Four under par for Mr. Palmer with hey, a 30 to 10. Yeah, that was pretty good there. At the end of 10 holes, Arnold now with a five-shot lead over Gary Player. The 11th, another par five, David. And again, it goes with the slope of the terrain. A dog leg uh, that sweeps a little to the left. The two bunkers down there on the left side, I think, help set you up. Stay out to the right of those. And a hole again with a gentle breeze today. It is reachable, but it must take a very good drive. Otherwise, lay up your second and pitch onto the screen. It's 540 yards. The flag today, back left. Oh, Arnold. That kicks off the hill there. Hmm? Another great drive. Well, he's hitting it solid. He's hitting it in the right spots. Some interested onlookers. The most interested onlooker is this man right now. You better get back in the game. Come on. Got way down there. Well, this may be a start. That's as fine a drive as he's had all day. That's a little better. Where are we? Gary, over the years, you've played a lot of golf with this man. Tell us about his golf game. Well, first of all, today, he's four under par, and he could very easily have been six under par. I mean, he missed a short putt there and had a couple of other... Hole in it. Now, Arnold with the driver off the fairway for his second shot. <laughs> oh, first bad swing. Oh, he was reaching for a little more than he had there, and you can hear him. I mean, that three wood was a better idea, Ooh. Arnold. Forgot all the do's and remembered all the don'ts on that one. 
Well, well, well. Greed will get you, won't it? Uh, it happens to everybody, too. Now, Gary has a chance of getting there. This is a three wood from 250. Better get going. Ooh, it jumped, oh. jumped that bunker jack. Thank my, you. oh, my. A fortuitous bounce. Well, he needs some good things to happen to him because he's sort of self-inflicted like missing a couple of these uh, little chips that he's had. Now, Arnold, his third shot. This with a nine iron from 123 yards. Shot. Not a real good shot with a nine iron, but what the heck, he's uh, you know, got a pretty good lead here. Now, this man needs to chip this in. Sounded yeah. better and looks better. A little more crisp sound you. there. You knew he caught the ball correctly. Now Arnold for birdie. <laughs> that wasn't a very good attempt then. Par for Arnold. So Gary has a chance to pick one up. And it's a must situation. He can't let these opportunities go by at this time. Yes. Yeah. A birdie for Gary Player at the 11th hole. He gets back to even par. Four shots behind Arnold Palmer. Par threes. What about this hole? Oh, Dave, I mean, this is really spectacular. I mean, this is this is using nature. Nature has just made this hole so beautifully. I mean, look at these cliffs and the background and the bougainvillea. I mean, it no, really, Jack it's just a... Uh, put that in there. Huh? He put, Jack put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> that all filled the left Yeah, that's all filled. Jack filled it. <laughs> so I just say, Dave... <laughs> Lovely to play it in calm weather. I don't know about a driver. I don't know where you'd lay up. Maybe you go to the lady steel or somewhere then play it. But I mean, in a wind here, you wouldn't be able to get across here in a strong. There it is, David. In a terrific par three, playing today at 201 yards. And as you can see, all carry jack. Just the single bunker there on the right. But there's enough trouble and beauty on this hole to last you a lifetime. Flag today, as you can see, just left of the bunker. Really not too hard a place. The hole is hard enough. Player with a five foot. 201. Again, needs to hit a good shot. Put some meat on Arnold. I'm down. Down. Good. Needs to turn down. left. I'm down. Good shot. Yeah. Good, yeah, shot. good shot on the green, and that in itself is an <laughs> accomplishment. Thank you. Arnold, this with a three iron. 201. All carry. It's left of the hole, but well hit. Catch that. Come up. A little tree iron. Almost hit a four. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I bet you Gary wishes he had it at four. Arnold away. This is for Birdie. If that's a much slower going that way, Jack, because you're going up and away from the ocean. It just, uh, he forgot it. Look at him, you know. He says, I know better than that. Maybe with a little more experience, he'll really learn the game. How old do you have to be to get enough experience? I don't ever think you get it all, Jack. Now, Gary, for birdie. Oh. oh, that would have helped an awful lot. So, after 12 holes of play, Arnold Palmer, four shots ahead of Gary Player. And now the 13th hole. A par four. 
but what a par four, Jack. A sneaky little dude that will tempt the long hitter into trying to drive the green. You can see the bunkering all down the left side. I think that's good because everything swings to the left there. Flag today in an ideal spot for any Sunday pin tournament, let's say, when it's in the back left portion of the green. Player with a driver. May as well just aim it at the right and hit it as hard as you can. Good one. Go, baby. Go, baby. Now it'll be all right. Ooh. Ooh. Where did that? Ooh. That's, that's good. Carry that's all the way good. up. Yeah. Well, he's a little bit left, but he's fine. Oh, he's in good shape there. Maybe a little too close to green. Carry it all the way up. And that may be it. That Shot. was stung. Just to the right of Gary Player. Right here together again, guys, huh? Here we are. Just like a <laughs> big happy family. How many drives have y'all been in all right together like who's away? Huh? <laughs> Not very often. I used to be away all the time. <laughs> that's right. I mean, that's what got you started on that physical deal, that's right? Exactly right. Huh? <laughs> Tell me, how did you get started with that? Maybe people well, at home don't know. Or... I was always, you're away, you're away, you're away. So, you know, I've got to get in that gym and do something about it. And it's it's made a big difference. Well, I you... really recommend to... Some of these young people that are playing golf, I mean, they, we're in an age now, Dave, where you just got to work out. And I mean, I'm working out exceptionally hard now, and it's really, you can see the difference mm -hmm. in oh, my distance. Yeah. Yep, it's paid off a little bit for Gary. Now Arnold, second shot. It's a tough little shot down here, lie. Not much room. That's too far. Right. It's too far. <laughs> oh, oh, this is one time when you've driven so close to green, you leave yourself with a, you know, a real in-between shot. Gary shot, much the same as Arnold's. He too has gone too far. Oh, well, I didn't expect both of them to do that, but uh, both exceptionally hard little pitches. Yeah, I'm on a, I'm on a down slope, so it's hard. You know, it's very easy to just. Get behind it. Well, Arnold with the harder of the two shots. Now, he hasn't had to chip all day, so this one's uh, got to carry the tall fringe, and it's downhill from there to the flag stick. Oh, and he's hit that too hard, too. Isn't that terrible? This is really a hard hole. It doesn't look hard on the scorecard, but at 310, it is really all the par four you'd want to handle. Now, Gary much better off because he's just got the bump in just slightly on the green, so open door for Gary. If he could step this in, he might pick up two strokes here. Oh, sure gave it a try. It's a little more what we used to see Gary doing. Well, Arnold Palmer bogeyed the short par four, and now the lead is three shots. We have come to the 14th hole at the Challenge at Manelli Bay. And the momentum is definitely switched in players' favor, Jack. I mean, 181-yard par three, this with a five iron. What a time to hit a good shot. Keep Arnold on the run, close that gap. Oh, gee, man, a lot. Oh, no. mm -mm. Ah, Not that way. I don't. Well, he described it himself. Look at that. I mean, like a hacker, huh? Too a little fast. fast. Mm -hmm. I think you all got snatch. the message. Huh? Yeah. Arnold, five iron. Oh, come in. <laughs> and safely on. Mm -hmm. Heavy on the safe, but nobody says fooling that flag at this point. That's awful, too. Very bad shot. So now Gary has a difficult shot. Downhill lie, not too much green. 
player with a second shot at 14. This will take every bit of skill and courage and a little dash of luck to get within six feet of the hole. Oh, man, is that any good? Oh, oh I would have bet you the Black Bottom Farm if couldn't get it that close. What a wonderful shot. Well, let's take another look at it. What you do, Jack, is try to make the club swing with the contour of the ground as he's done. You stay down and through it like that. So easy for the regular person just to pull up. But look, when you stay with it, he's going to pitch it out kind of low, and yet he carried it perfectly up on the What a terrific shot. Now, this is player for par. Well, what a marvelous par for Gary and how the momentum has changed now when it looked like player would lose a shot here. Now Arnold needs this putt for par to hold even, which he does. And so at the end of 14 holes of play in this match, Arnold Palmer still enjoys a three-shot lead over Gary Player. That brings us to the 15th hole, the last of the par fives, David. And this one right now, not reachable. The wind has changed a little bit. It's playing at 520. You've got to be, of course, short of that area that you see there. Then you play your three wood or long iron, keeping away from those three bunkers that you see, almost reminiscent of the church pews at Oakmont. Stay left of there to a green that is quite deep, but uh, pretty narrow. Both players have hit their tee shots and their second shots. And here's Gary Player with his third. And this right at 50 yards, actually 51 is what they said. I don't know if they're that good, though, but uh, this man might be. <laughs> uh, he caught that little, a uh, little bit hotter than he wanted to. Oh, man, just a little aggressive. Now, Arnold with a pitching wedge, this from, this some um, 30 yards from the flag stick. There you go, a couple of hops, and then begin to settle down, and nicely played indeed. Very nice. Textbook way of playing a pitch and run. Well, Gary Player missed his birdie putt and took par, and now here is Arnold for a chance at birdie to go four shots ahead. Good putt. Yes. So after 15 holes of play, Palmer is four under, player is even as we come to the 16th. Jack, this is a nice par four at 425. Now those two bunkers that you see, they're in play against the wind, but today with the wind behind the player's back, won't be any problem. You're going downhill with the wind, and I really look for this hole just to play a driver and a short iron to a green, really, that sits at a little bit of an angle so it's not too wide to play into, nice and deep. Really, a, a neat hole that can be played at a variable amount of distances. Uh, a hole I like very much here. Oh, like another good, solid shot. Another fine drive by Palmer. Very well. With the wind and with the contour, you know, it's almost 300 yards. It's <laughs> killed. Mm. A good drive. Yeah, it's it's a good, good solid drive. drive. And Gary's in good place, too, almost exactly even with Arnold. The competitive history of these two players is, and here these two old competitors are, still at it. And a lot of pride, too. Now, they both hit nine irons, and Gary hit by far the best shot. Arnold's already made four. Now, this to get within three shots, must make. Once again, opportunity slips by, so he's still going to stay four shots behind Arnold. Manelli Bay. Yeah. 
and you can see all the teeing areas that we're flying across and what a scary looking drive on this dog leg right and of course again so much depends on the wind but what you want to do and try to do is drive it up to this dog leg on the corner and then you have a medium to short iron into this green that sits down you'll be shooting down with just the one bunker strategically placed in the middle and short of the green so really uh, for a hole with just one bunker in play i think wonderful Arnold Palmer to hit first. Well, he kept it away from the cliffs. <laughs> that's, the, that's the play for Arnold. I mean, he's got to make Gary make birdie birdie and hope that Arnold goes bogey bogey or something. It's a fabulous looking. Oh my, isn't it? Oh. It's terrifying and beautiful at once. Worth the trip. Yeah, a good looking shot by Gary. Well, it could be a little more aggressive. He's got to take the shortcuts and hit the short irons. I mean, he's got to pick them up two at a time now with only two holes left. Thank you. Well, great drive, Gary. Thank you. Hey. Oh, beautiful shot. Yeah. 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 162 yards, huh? Well, he described it for you, and he, of course, missed it. The place you got to miss it, left and long. Nowhere near the ocean, but uh, really one of the few poor shots that Arnold's hit all day long. He's played very well today. Now's the time for Gary to jump on it, though, Jack, because here he is. He's got a short iron, a nine iron. If he can put it in there close, maybe make three, and Arnold make five. Oh, that's half of it. Well, he's done his part. Absolutely. I mean, he's hanging on by his fingernails. Arnold pitched 12 feet past the hole and made a great putt coming back for par, denying Gary now a chance for a two-shot swing. He can make one up with this birdie. Oh, and it so often happens, as you know, Jack. You look like you're going to pick up two putts, but now you don't pick up any. Yes, and at the end of 17 holes, Arnold Palmer leaves Gary Player by four shots. Matic intensity. We're at the 18th hole where both players have hit their tee shots. And Arnold hit a poor drive here, Jack. Sorry, a little hooky. Uh, 220 yards from the hole. This with the two iron. Right. Pretty good looking Perfect. shot though from where he was and he played it the right way. You want to go oh. down the left side. Good oh. shot from where he was. Okay. Right side, you have the bunkers over there short. Not a place you want to be. Gary with a much better angle. This with a six iron from 167 yards. Uh, I think he caught that a little heavy and it didn't carry back as far as he needed to go. I would say the last uh, three months have been the most travel I've ever done in my life in three months. You ought to, uh, what you should do is, is borrow your plane. <laughs> no, quite sure. You should buy one. You should, uh, you should add up your life travel. How many miles you've traveled? Do you know? Oh, about nine million. Nine million? Yeah, nine million. Well, that's, you know, that's a couple miles. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gary may be a little dejected because he three putted for five, but that was kind of the story of his day, Jack, to finish with 73. Palmer now for par. Oh. So they both finished with bogeys there at the 18th hole. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> that was enjoyable. You played really well. You played super. You played a little better. You should. Thank you. All the best to you. Okay. Very good. Thanks, Gary. Enjoyed it as always. As always.
Yes, sir. We have done it a few times. You bet. You bet. And may we have so many more. Well, let's hope a few more. I hope so. Let's all hope so. Here's a look at the scorecard. Arnold doing his damage on the front nine, going out in 33 to Gary's 37. With the birdie and the eagle. And on the back nine, they were even at 36 apiece. Two birdies and two bogeys for Arnold, a birdie and a bogey for Gary. Final score. Arnold Palmer, 69, Gary Player, 73 at the Challenge of Manelli. Let's nice little start to the back nine at 379 yards, dog leg to the left, the fairway slopes that way. Nothing to worry about off the tee, actually. No bunkers there. A hole that with a good drive, you're going to play a short iron in, too. And, uh, you know, a hole where you ought to make a birdie. I mean, you're thinking make a three here when you're standing on the tee. And after a brilliant three under par on the front nine, Arnold Palmer to hit first. Driving the ball beautifully today. Nice shot. Might be all right. Yeah. Good shot. It'll be. And he keeps it up. That puts a lot of pressure on Gary watching this. And a little better than all right. Again, long and straight. How sweet it is. Okay. Yeah, Gary's nicely placed in the fairway. Like kind of blocked that a little bit. You see him? See how he's yep. showing you there? So when he does that, you block it up against that hill instead of riding with it with Ar like Arnold Hook did. That's why you get a big difference in the di distance here. Look at that, huh? This from 136 yards. This with an 8 iron. Now get down, Gary. Let it get down. Well, they couldn't make their mind up. It's just, it's just one or the other, get up or get down. Or maybe they're talking about dancing. <laughs> Arnold, this is a pitching wedge from 102 yards. Yeah, he ought to make this dance a little. There it is, a little entrecé. Huh? Ah, yes. That's a good shot. Well played, just like I thought they both played this hole. Gary for birdie. He needs it. Has to make something happen. Par there and in danger of dropping behind again. I mean, you, you just don't realize unless you play in these how much faster 18 holes is than 72. I mean, five strokes, man. So he's got to kind of be pulling for Arnold not to make this. Nice. Four under par for Mr. Palmer with a 30 to 10. Yeah, that was pretty good there. At the end of 10 holes, Arnold now with a five-shot lead over Gary Player. The 11th, another par five, David. And again, it goes with the slope of the terrain. A dog leg uh, that sweeps a little to the left. The two bunkers down there on the left side, I think, help set you up. Stay out to the right of those. And a hole again with a gentle breeze today. It is reachable, but it must take a very good drive. Otherwise, lay up your second and pitch onto the screen. It's 540 yards. The flag today, back left. Oh, Arnold. Yeah, that kicks off the hill there. Hmm? Another great drive. Well, he's really hit it solid. He's hitting in the right spots. So interested onlookers. The most interested onlookers is this man right now. You better get back in the game. Good one. Got way down there. Well, this may be a start. That's as fine a drive as he's had all day. 
Ah, it's a little better. Where are we? Gary, over the years, you've played a lot of golf with this man. Tell us about his golf game. Well, first of all, today, he's four under par, and he could very easily have been six under par. I mean, he missed a short putt there and had a couple of other... in it. Now, Arnold with the driver off the fairway for his second shot. Oh, first oh, bad swing. He was Lordy. reaching for a little more than he had there, and you can hear him. I mean, that three wood was a better idea, Ooh. Arnold. Forgot all the do's and remembered all the don'ts on that one. Well, well, well. Greed will get you, won't it? Uh, it happens to everybody, too. Now, Gary has a chance of getting there. This is a three wood from 250. Better get going. Ooh, it jumped, oh. jumped that bunker jack. Hi, my, Gary. oh, my. A fortuitous bounce. Well, he needs some good things to happen to him because he's sort of self-inflicted like missing a couple of these uh, little chips that he's had. Now, Arnold, his third shot. This was a nine iron from 123 yards. Shot. Not a real good shot with a nine iron, but what the heck, he's uh, you know, got a pretty good lead here. Now, this man needs to chip this in. That sounded yeah. better and looks better. A little more crisp uh, yeah. sound there. You knew he caught the ball correctly. Now Arnold for birdie. That wasn't a very good attempt, then. A par for Arnold. So Gary has a chance to pick one up. And it's a must situation. He can't let these opportunities go by at this time. Yes. Yeah. Birdie for Gary Player at the 11th hole. He gets back to even par. Four shots behind Arnold Palmer. Par threes. What about this hole? Oh, Dave, I mean, this is really spectacular. I mean, this is, this is using nature. Nature has just made this hole so beautifully. I mean, look at these cliffs and the background and the bougainvillea i mean no, it really jack it's just uh, put that in there huh? he put jack put that in there <laughs> <laughs> that all the left yeah that's all philly jack filled it <laughs> no, i just say dave lovely to play it in calm weather i don't know about a drive i don't know where you'd lay up maybe you go to the ladies team or somewhere they'd play it but i mean in a wind here you wouldn't be able to get across here in a strong there it is david 